Okay, I have made it to Chetumal, the capital of Quintana Roo here, right on the Belize border. And look at this. I booked on Booking.com. I just looked for the nicest, best-rated hotel. This is 58 bucks a night. So he laid a pet stodinera, roughly, which is pretty expensive. Um, would that be right? No, not he laid a pet sto. Opa, bato. Uh, that would be, this would be roughly, it was Helia do Petsto Pesos. So this is roughly awesome Helia de Dinera. Uh, I mean, everything looks okay, but look at this. My welcome gift, here in Mexico, you can't drink the water. This is the bottle of water, exactly how it was here. Look at that. Do you see something wrong? The seal's broken. It's been drank out of Bratim. What the hell? <laughs> I can't really complain because they let me check in two hours early. Uh, I'm supposed to check in at three. Actually, three hours early. But still. And another funny thing. By no means am I picking on um, Mexico. This is the nicest room you could... Well, the nicest hotel. It looks decent. Internet's okay. So no complaints. Uh, this is a view from the outside. You want to see Chetumal, Mexico? This is a look at the city. It's balmy, humid. Lots of honking you'll hear here in Mexico. Just like in Serbia. You Serbs and Mexicans, you have that in common. You honk. You're so... <laughs> you get so impatient on the roads. But now that I said it, you can't hear any. But you will if you come to Mexico and walk around, I guarantee it. Water's over there. The center is over here. I'll go out and explore and show you some of the city here in just a moment. This is my view from the room. But the funny part, check this out. And this is by no means an insult. I don't like to go to countries and insult a country. But this is my room, okay? Typical in the United States of America, if you do not have a balcony, this window is not gonna open very far because they don't want kids falling out. They don't want people jumping out, killing themselves, I guess. But look at this. Look how far this son of a gun will open, man. <laughs> It'll open all the way, baby. <laughs> Look, I could just... Woo, I could fall, stumble out of that. If there's a kid in here, you could be jumping on the bed and boom, you know? I guess they don't look for lawsuits and stuff. I mean, America's all about lawsuits. I guess other countries don't think about it. But anyway, I find it funny. I, I think it's kind of nice. I can get a whole breeze. But it's, well, it's hot breeze here in Mexico. So I'm turning on the air conditioner. Crazy, crazy. Hey, shut up, people. Charles here. That is the capital of Quintana Roo. That is Chetumal, uh, Mexico. I'm getting ready to go to the bus station and buy a ticket for tomorrow to Cancun. Because here's the rest of my trip summed up, just so you know where I'm going to be and what I'm doing. In case you want to know, you can look at the city while I talk. Um, I'm staying the night here in Chetumal. Tomorrow, I'm taking a bus to Cancun. I'm staying in that beautiful villa. The owner was kind enough to let me reschedule. There was no damage to it. You're gonna freaking love it. It's beautiful. So I'm gonna make some videos from there. 10 o'clock uh, in the morning, I fly to New York. I'll be in New York Saturday night, Sunday. Monday morning, I fly to Serbia, and I'll be in Serbia 5 a.m. on Tuesday. Woo! Can't wait to get home. Okay, look how Mexicans keep people out of their house. Or property. Glass into the cement. Everything here is just concrete. So hot. I am sweaty. And I'm walking to the bus station to try to find the bus station. Uh, here in Chetumal so I can get my ticket for tomorrow. So I gotta practice my Spanish so I don't fuck up and get the wrong ticket. Uh, barbed wire on that house up there. They said this city's really safe. Mahatma Gandhi. Oh, that's cool. You have Mahatma Gandhi Boulevard. You can see it right there. 
It's at the corner of Mahatma Gandhi and Independencia. <laughs> Cactus out here, that's cool. Every home, you know, I remember when I lived in Mexico, the neighbors used to make fun of me because the ladies here are so clean. They used to mop the sidewalks every single day. They were out mopping them every morning and I never did. So some of the neighbor boys told me that their parents thought I was uh, dirty. Como se dice? Uh, sucio, I think. Isn't that how you say dirty? Sucio? The opposite is limpia. Limpia is clean. <laughs> sucio gringo. I didn't see the point in mopping the sidewalk, you know? But they're clean, awesome people. Always working. You never see them just slacking off. <laughs> oh my God. This green goes about to die. It is so hot down here. I don't know if you can see it. But I, genius idea to walk four kilometers over here in this stifling, humid heat. So as soon as I'm finished, I'm going to jump in the water somewhere. I hope this is the right bus station too. There's like four. But this one had the best reviews, so I thought maybe it's this one. Who knows? I'll find out, I guess. Ciao, ciao. Oh my God, I made it finally. I got my ticket. It was Petsto Shesnaist Pesos. So it was like, uh, I don't know. I paid $150 to go from Tulum to here. And this is like, what, 10, $12 roughly. Is that right? Man, I'm so bad with calculating that in my head. But anyway, seven in the morning. Oh, but I gotta get up early. Shit. So I gotta explore as much as I can, go to bed early and get here, and then I'm in Cancun. Then I'm in my beautiful villa. Oh my God, you're gonna love it. It's gorgeous, and I'm not gonna leave. I'm gonna bring my girl, or uh, uh, um, my prostituta. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. And just relax in there. Hopefully it'll be a sunny day, because uh, I've got a pool on top, an infinity pool on the top of the place. But oh man, it'll be pump I'm pumped. And that's it, guys. Tickets. Ah, my trip's almost over. I'm excited. Now, I just got to figure out where the hell I'm going to go in this town. Ciao, ciao. Okay, you want to see? That's how much gas is here in pesos. So that would be like less than a dollar. Because one dollar is like 20 pesos. Uh, here in Mexico, the gas station, uh, it's owned by the government here which makes so much sense. Keeps the prices very competitive. Pemex, isn't that the name of the company? So it's pretty cheap for gas here in Mexico. Cheaper than Serbia and the United States. This is how they do their trash here, instead of trash cans. And that makes sense too, Mexico. <laughs> Nobody can kick them over, they can't blow away in the wind. <sighs> but I don't see how these people live down here in this constant heat. There's a pizza place. So, there's a bunch of old broken windshields. I'm just heading down to the center looking for a, a, a restaurant. This, All my taxi drivers have been Mayan or their wives have been Mayan. My apologies. And they all told me, I asked them, I said, where can I get some good Mayan food? They said some of the names, but I don't remember. Like a cochinita, a coch, cochinita, cochinitas, I think was something Mayan. And then they told me a couple more. And most of it deals with chicken, uh, spicy chicken stuff. But I'll find some, I'll find a way and I'll show you. That's my mission for today. My only mission. <laughs> no, this is not my only one. To eat some Mayan food, drink some more beer, and get in the water. Opa bottle. I'm dying here in Chetumal. <laughs> oh, look at that. Making pinatas. Can you see that? Yeah, that's really awesome. Okay, we got a little piazza here. 
with everything you can imagine. Electronicals, and Viagra, Opa, Bato. But I'm looking for some food, man. Ventilador, that's how you say that in Spanish. A fan, I remember that when I was looking for one in La Piedad. Let me see what I've got here. Maybe this is food. Ah, it's a little food place, but people are sitting in front of the place. That would be awkward. Made it down to the water. A big monument down there, I'll show you a little bit earlier. I'm gonna go over here to the Chetumal entry. Or a uh, big sign. I like these things to get my picture by them. Okay, here I am. Isn't it pretty? The water's even clear as all it can be. Monument. A fisherman is pulling in a net with this big clock. I don't know what that says. Assuming it says do not touch this yeah, without the authority of yeah, somebody. Quintana Roo, my friends. Almost zero tourists here. I've only seen a couple gringos. And all, most of the restaurants are shut, or they're tiny, tiny places. Uh, just corner little places where you have to sit on like a little plastic chair, and it's really uncomfortable because there's people in there and they stare at you, eat. <laughs> I hate to be stared at. Probably know that by now. Ciao. Look how clear the water is. With the exception of a little bit of garbage. Really clear down here. It says this boulevard, this boardwalk, is the longest in all of the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, the city of Chetumal, it was founded in 1898 by the sailors. I figured it'd been, I mean, the Mayans have been here for years, but it, it, it's so unfair when they say stuff like that. The city was founded when it was already inhabited, you know? I don't know where they draw the line. <laughs> I guess if Indians are there, it doesn't mean anything. But it, when it was invaded and taken over, maybe they should say, unfortunately. No, oh, it's just a warm one out. I was hoping I'd find a place I could jump in the water. But no such luck. There's no really beach that I've found just yet. Governor's Palace. I don't know if we're supposed to be taking a video. It's a government building, but I'm a gringo. They don't care, do they? This is the White House, huh? It's pretty white. Okay, I went a little nuts here. I haven't eaten in a restaurant for a bit. Uh, I went to the restaurants. Most of them are closed. The ones you could actually sit down in, uh, they were few and far between. So I saw this chicken place called Chicken Frito Estillo Nuevo. Uh, and I purchased three of these. These are tacos. It's got chunks of chicken. It's got frijoles or beans. It's got lettuce, some cilantro. Um, it's a tomato and this is cool how they do the little sauces here one's really hot one's medium and one is um, I'm not sure uh, I should know because I lived in Mexico and I used to have these all the time but I can't remember uh, but they just put them in these little bags and you just it's, it doesn't seem safe during COVID does it, it doesn't seem very sanitary because uh, they had to put their hands on there to tie it and everything but you poke it there and then just <laughs> squirt it to your heart's desire. And then I got a burger here. It's got onions, tomatoes, lettuce, and big chunks of chicken. Chicken's, chicken burger. So I know this is more than I should be eating, but man, I'm starving. And I walked, I just looked. I walked about eight and a half miles today, which is a lot. That's like what? 17 kilometers 
just walking around, I haven't done that for a bit. So I burnt a lot of calories. I'm getting ready to put a bunch more on. Cocos de cancha is cilantro. Uh, not serpscum. Really common to put it on um, tacos here. It's so good. Can't wait to eat it. A double tortilla. Look at that. Oh my God. Makes it even more fattening than it should be. Anyway, yeah, Biga. I'll lose it when I get back to Serbia. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs>